Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about mapping request parameters to the handler method in Spring Framework. Yeah, so, in past uh, few video tutorials, we had discussed about the at the rate request param annotations. So, in this video tutorial, I will go in little more depth. So, here basically i have created a project a spring mbc request param web app and uh, some of the files already i have created let me let me explain you so i have created web.xml that is also called deployment descriptor and uh, as usually in like a previous example i have re registered dispatcher sublet uh, which works as a mbc controller so this is a simple sublet uh, that is indicating that uh, we are going to use a spring mbc right so that will pretty straightforward now we have a, a spring web configuration file there i have declared a spring bin is called internal resource view resolver who is responsible to resolve the uh, physical location of the view and we have a, a package which i have registered for the component scan so and uh, most of, and all controller we are going to uh, create in this package right so if we use uh, any annotations like at the rate controller at the rate request mapping and uh, any annotations we are using in this class which is going to scan by the spring firmware so that's the main use case of this now uh, i have created a one model class user which is having the four private fields uh, constructor and corresponding public getter method that's a pretty straightforward and uh, i have a view folder there i have created a uh, register.jsp so basically I'm not gonna uh, code for every layer like uh, presentation controller uh, service DAO and database everything we are not going to consider here basically just we are going to take input from the uh, register.jsp and we'll collect in the controller and we'll uh, same display on the some uh, final result page like uh, uh, register success.jsp page something like that and in future video tutorial we'll dig about the uh, service and uh, doll layer and all right so let's uh, first of all let let me create this controller class so so i have already created a controller class and this class i'm going to annotate as at the rate controller annotations right so this is one of the stereotype annotation which mark this class as a controller right and here i'm going to create a method like public and return type i would give the string so if you create any request handler method in a spring mbc controller then you can have a return type either a string or model and view so here i'm going to specify the return type as a string itself and i would say register page and this guy is going to return a simple string return and logical name of the so we have a register.jsp so simply you can return a register right so basically this will dis display the register or gsp and this method i am going to annotate as request mapping and here i am going to specify a uh, value equal to simply slash so when we will run this project as a web based application then first of all register dot gsp will be displayed and here you can specify a uh, method request method so request method i'm going to specify a gate itself if you do not specify then by default get is gate is only right so first request handler method we have defined right who is responsible to display this register.jsp let's complete this uh, register.jsp as, as well so form and action i'm leaving as of now blank and here method i'm going to specify http method post okay and let's create a one table and here i'm going to specify tr tr means table row so this is very simple html design and td means table data and let's take this input from the keyboard right so we have to take three input uh, from the ui not from the keyboard sorry for that so we have a four attributes and one submit button 
so first of all i'm going to take user name and that would be the user name that will be a simple text input right so we'll we can use html type equal to text itself and name equal to i would say user name or you can say in this user what is the variable name same name i'm going to specify over here right we can specify over here so name itself right now second attribute we have uh, something is called email and email again kind of text field itself and name equal to email then again we have a input parameter age and country so let's say age and again this is kind of text field itself so i would say age and finally we have a country name right so country and country you can have a, a select and select close and name equals to i would say country country and here you can have option close and option is having a value so you can say India so this is going to uh, this value will collect in the back end and this will be displayed on the uh, this option drop down list and again I would say US so US and finally I would say country is other if it does not belong to these two then other okay and finally we'll have a submit button right so let's make a submit button so input type equal to submit and value equal to I would say register so this will be the button name okay and press control a control shift f for formatting so this way we have designed our form now let's create a another controller method like public and return type would be model and view and i would say register success and here uh, let's annotate this method as register success something like this and method will be the post because in form we have a specified post and here I'm going to specify I'm going to use at the rate request param so we have a at the rate request param so let's use this annotation and here you can take name so and a string name so here I'm specifying the name so that is the name which is which is on the HTML page right or JSP page so and this parameter you can take anything if you take if uh, and this parameter you can take like this also if you specify this variable name as the uh, what is in HTML or JSP then you can collect this value like that also but if you specify the name which is on the JSP then this name you can take anything that's the main thing you'll we'll have to keep in mind now next thing we'll have country so we have a country and we'll take again country now next what else we have uh, we have a email right so let's take email and email and finally we have a something is called age right so i would say age and directly you can take int so a spring framework will take care about the data conversion that will automatically convert into the string to uh, integer so that's the beauty of this guy now saying that let's put a return type as of 9 null now what i'll do 
I'll create a user object over here. So user, user, and user is having a constructor. That constructor I'm gonna use. So here I'm going to pass everything. So country spelling is a little wrong. Okay, so I think country may have written wrong in the user. So country would be like this. So sorry country then let's generate a constructor as a targeted method again so let's right click go to the source uh, uh, generate constructor and a getter method is not required at all so i'm going to leave or uh, this is showing a warning so you can create a getter method as well so let's create a getter and warning has gone away right uh, now this user object let's create a object this model and view object and model and view sorry model and view and new model and view and here either you can uh, use this view name over here so a uh, view name i'm going to create register success.jsp so that logical name i'm going to specify over here and uh, model and view is having a uh, method is called add object so add object and here directly you can add add object is having there is overloaded add object right so here you can specify string here attribute object so string i'm going to specify user and this user object i'm going to add it over here right and this is going to return to the client right now we need to create this jsp right and this will be the final result phase so let's create a jsp and this is j dot jsp and this jsp we have created here i'm going to create with size s2 like message you have successfully registered with following info okay and okay and here I'm going to create a table so that table we can copy from here we have a register so this table let's copy from here and put it here and here we can use a uh, spring expression language uh, sorry JSP expression language here you can do user dot name so this user is nothing but the this object which we are adding in this model class this is the user and we can access field of this object right so user dot name similarly we can have a user dot email now you can have a user dot age and you have a user dot country right and there would not be any button right so this is our final JSP page sorry uh, table I have deleted this sorry table we need to close so let's close the table this is our final JSP page right now here in register.jsp we need to specify the uh, URL right so URL I'm going to specify something like this uh, slash project name slash uh, URL pattern of this guy request handler method right so almost I have done but uh, I'm running out of time so rest, rest of the code I am going to complete in the uh, next video tutorial right so this video will have a second part uh, there I'm going to run this project and if uh, any code refactoring is required then I'll do the um, same in the next video tutorial so Thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.